Hey, how you guys doing? Michael X. So the VK4502P OSF, <laughs> or is it OSF? I can't remember, OSF. <laughs> it's an OSF B7. Uh, most people like to call it <clears throat> um, the VK45 Bravo or just the VK Bravo, which is probably the better way to go because the VK45 is actually a very weak tank, but not now. Now it's actually got a very decent, um, you know, very decent lower plate, um, or sorry, upper plate, um, you know, of 150, so that's pretty cool. Um, trying to get myself the, uh, is it the, the Luva for the PC, but I haven't been seeing a lot of them recently, so maybe, uh, maybe it's been nerfed, I don't know, maybe it's been nerfed, um, but, uh, anyway, uh, so, this tank is is pretty good uh seriously uh i'm gonna say that i think that its gun needs a little bit of long range nerf in my opinion um i'm not the one that does that but anyway so 30 forward 15 in reverse 15 percent chance of engine fire very heavy tank it's a slug uh 15.7 aim time now you got to keep in mind that's for a 75 percent trained crew uh, 2.9 aim time, 38% accuracy, or 38 accuracy at 100 meters, 18 elevation, 5 gun depression, very poor ground resistance, as you guys are going to see here, it's 1.1.1, which is very bad, doesn't turn very well, and it's got very poor turret speed, as you guys can see, 18 degrees, that's just a little bit faster than the Hellcat, uh 710 signal range and of course the ammunition this actually has a lower pinning standard shell of 246 uh for 490 alpha uh 311 with apcr for for 490 and uh was it uh 65 for a possible 300 or 630 which is crazy now if you guys check out my crew on this i went for survivability because this thing does have a lot of modules to be broken. And I've ammo racked this tank repeatedly. And I've been ammo racked by this vehicle. So keep in mind your ammo rack is all in the back. So if somebody can swing around you. This has a very slow turret. So it's Achilles. Meaning like the worst thing about it is if a tank gets behind you. It takes you so long to spin the turret around at 18. Uh, like I said, that's actually about the same speed as a Hellcat. So if you try to spin the vehicle at the same time, a, a light tank can easily stay behind you. So once that happens, you're done, unless you have a friend with you. Now this is the uh, PC, so you got to add on about 20 millimeters to this. So you can pin that lower plate uh, all day long, but this upper plate's not pinning, and you're gonna you can side scrape like a king. But it does have weak points on the turret. You can also track pin this, which is probably, if, if he's in a perfect side scraping position and you can't pin that lower plate, you can actually shoot his track and go for the track pin, which is probably wise in any location or any, any of those things. So you guys can see here, though, that you should technically be able to shoot heat in here, but I'm going to say that from, I don't know, 100 meters, I usually bounce every shot. You're actually better off going for the hatch here on this tank. Um, and usually a lot of people aim for that little thing there. And that usually gives them a pin on the hatch, and I don't know why, but uh, you can reverse side scrape in this, uh, but you know I wouldn't recommend it because the turret <laughs> is in the back. Um, so here's the track pin I was telling you guys. So if you guys don't want to use your, your ammunition, you should be able to shoot the track and pin it. Uh, now there is a 50-50 a that that track's going to actually deflect it, so keep that in mind when you're, when you're playing this vehicle. <clears throat> So I chose this map or this game, this game because it has a little bit of everything. And I wanted to go ahead and just tell you guys some things that I think uh, they're probably going to do in the future to this is they're probably going to nerf its accuracy a bit more um, or they're going to just basically make its long range game go away because you can consistently land with APCR um, 500 meter shots. Now, for all of you guys, well, not all of you, but the three guys that have been disliking my via, uh, my videos, my reviews, um, APCRs are a part of this game. And I'm going to go ahead and say that in a tier 10 room, if you're trying to grind and get your, I'm just going to say to get your W and 8 up, you can watch Dez Gaming and he'll tell you that these guys are firing nothing but heat at me. But you know what he says right after? They're grinding W and 8. And what, what are they, what is W and 8? They're trying to get their stats up. It, some people say stat padding, but 
This tank right here is a very peculiar tank. Peculiar tank. You really do need to stay with the group. Um, but it can shoot long range, which is very odd for a heavy to be able to take a sniper roll. And you guys are going to see this. I'm basically like a little boar sig back here. And, you know, which is something I don't think this tank should be capable of doing. If I try to do this in the E75, though, I'm going to say that the APCR rounds have better accuracy and higher velocity. So I'm going to say that your accuracy does increase. Now, I do have a decent crew in here. As far as what I'm running it in equipment, I am running ventilation, gun rammer, and enhanced gun laying drive. I've, I never use vertical stabilizer on a heavy because, I mean, well, it, it already has decent, you know, fire on the move. It really does. So, um, right here on this shot, if you guys watch, I fire a little soon. And you can see that I hit him at a weird angle and it just kind of like uh, hit somebody and did a critical. I don't know if you guys <laughs> seen that. Uh, but I didn't get credit for it, but I did hit somebody, which is kind of crazy. Um, uh, but I, yeah, so two target spots. So my crew is good enough to get that. So um, what I actually am running on this is six Sense, Brothers in Arms, Track Mechanic, Repairs. Uh, and I'm going for uh, Off-Road Driving and Clutch Braking. So I just want to show you guys the accuracy of this. So I'm able to shoot this guy from, what is that, 500 meters? Maybe maybe 400. Could be three. Let's actually look here. It's about 300 meters. At 300 meters, you can hit dead on. And that's pretty much with any tank. That's that's medium range, you know, uh, accuracy. Um, but you'll see here I'm actually able to <laughs> land 490, uh, 97 there. This thing can roll up to 580. I've seen it before, even though it's not supposed to be able to. But if you do damage the ammo rack at the same time, I've noticed using APCR like this, uh, like I said, your long range game is increased. And I did, I did want to go ahead and just say one more time for those of you that might want to complain about it. Um, APCR is a part of this game, and it does cost me money to increase my stats. So if I'm playing a tank like this that has good all around everything, but it's completely dependent upon the team, I really can't go out on my own, and I wouldn't recommend that in any vehicle. And you guys will see here that uh, I'm going to go ahead and get like a track on this bat chat, which is kind of common for the bat chat. It really does have that, you know, second life. Uh, so I bounce the first shot, and then the second one actually pins me, and I'm going to go ahead and land a shot, which went nowhere near where I was firing and I take a shot from the 704 which I'm assuming was on the bottom plate because if it was on the upper plate it would not have went through but at this this at this area right here it's very hard to hit um, the sides of the turret I've actually tried repeatedly on E75s and this vehicle to shoot the turret and pin through and you just you can't do it not at long range it, you can get a random you know random shot but uh, but yeah <clears throat> getting target spot hits and stuff which is kind of crazy so this thing's very versatile but I'm gonna say this like it's got uh, 18 you know turret so that's about the same as a Hellcat uh, and that's really that means that if you were in a medium tank and you can get by his gun meaning like if you can sneak up around back and he doesn't see you you can easily stay away from this this gun about the only thing you have to be careful of is if he backs up against the wall and you can't get behind him, you're going to have to be in front of that gun that's doing 490 and sometimes 4th, 450. You, you know, or sorry, uh, not 450, 550. You're going to end up getting punished. So best thing to do, though, is on Melanovka, this 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 map, if you can get behind it and circle it, there's nothing he, he can do. 18, including spinning the hall at the same time, is not enough to even keep... Uh, a 48 patent off of it <laughs> uh, so I'd recommend keeping buildings close to you if you can so I'm switching to HE here because um, I want I was getting ready to blow up these buildings here it's gonna blow these buildings up and I take a shot from over there and then all of a sudden I see this guy and I'm like I have a possibility to get some damage here so I'm gonna go ahead and go for the damage and I switch back to standard shells and I'm gonna go ahead and use them to blow up this building that is, of course, until I start seeing that there's other shots. But if I can blow away this building, these guys won't have any cover over here. So normally I'd use HE for that to blow up these buildings. But 
like I said, if I get a chance to pin somebody, I would rather, you know, uh, get a bounce off of them instead of doing 136. So back to APCR. So, uh, yeah, these guys have nowhere to, nowhere to hide now, do they? So if you guys get a chance to use your HE, HE, HE to do that. Um, yeah, these are long range shots right here, as you can see. That's 4, 419. Um, and I actually was able to pin probably the neck of the turret. As you can see, I got the critical hit there. So it wasn't a track pin. I'm pretty sure I pinned him right in the neck of the turret, which is a very lucky shot to get on that tank. Especially with APCR. Um, so there comes a big old round from that, uh, I think it's a, is it a T-30? Got, got a shot on the waffle. Look at that. Just dead accurate. I'm going to say if I was in the M48 Patton or the Leopard 1, I would miss half those shots, which doesn't make any sense to me. Um, seriously, it doesn't make any sense to me how this tank can do that. Now, I'm not trying to say that the, this tank should be nerfed. What I'm saying is that because I'm using APCR, like, just to tell you guys, like, why I'm getting five and 7,000 games is because I'm grinding W and A. If you use the standard shells, they have a lot lower velocity and they kind of go up and then down. A lot of times they don't even reach the target. So with APCR, um, you do lose, you know, penetration, um, but not as much as you do with a standard shell. So if this had heat, uh, it'd probably be more accurate at range because it has a lower velocity shell. You can see I go ahead and land a shot, but get detected. And we do know that there's those two tank destroyers over there. This type, I think it's a Type 5, or is it a Type 4? I can't really tell. But he has taken an absolute beating. I'm pretty sure that he's probably got way more block than me. But I'm going to say that me having 8 pins, you know, in this vehicle from 300 to 400 meters says a lot about this vehicle. Like I said, if you try to drive over there by yourself and a medium tank was able to get around you, or even a fast heavy, for instance, the MX-50B... He's just going to annihilate you. So you really can't do that. You really can't do that. What I actually want them to do is I'd like our, our, our guy to get on the cap and cause pressure, you know, on him. And once I see that these guys are kind of backing off, I'm going to go ahead and just risk it. I'm giving a really bad angle, but I do know that um, where they are, you know. And so I get detected and I, I think, you know, hey, uh, good thing to do here would be to... Uh, basically let them know that I'm here to distract them from the cap and I'm gonna go ahead and get into a perfect side scraping position so I can block these two massive tanks now I would never try this um, in any other vehicle maybe a tier 10 and you can see that I go I'm a little too steep to be trying to pop out here and you guys will see here that I'm at a perfect angle to where it's more than 300 Seriously, more than 300 uh, pin is needed. Maybe maybe three, three, 380. So his standard shells or even his APCRs are not going to pin at that angle. <clears throat> so very good side scraper. Seriously, it's probably one of the best side scrapers at tier 9 uh, that I know of. Seriously. Uh, being able to side scrape uh, 152. You know, that's crazy. So uh, there's a 704 left. Which, uh, he can see me. I'm thinking he's gonna kill me. You can see all he gets is a track. This is one of those things I wanted to tell you guys was that just because you can pin it in the track and get a track pin doesn't mean it's gonna go through all the time because you do have to think about that it adds an extra 20 millimeters to the weakest point of this tank. So I'm still detected and I find that it's best to move. Now I don't know what that was he just fired. Was it HE? I'm, I'm assuming it's HE. A lot of people, I, if, if he knew to just shoot me in the bottom plate, he would have he killed me. But he didn't. It shows up as orange for any tank. Seriously. Unless you have heat and it'll show red. Uh, but I'll just tell you, the bottom plate has been nerfed. So that makes this tank a lot easier to deal with. And it makes it a, 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 it's a very skilled vehicle. So I am actually at... 31,781 before I get the the Panzer 7 tier 10 the new one um, So I don't know uh, that tanks a, a very mobile vehicle 
Uh, seriously, it's a very mobile vehicle, and it has a really high alpha damage. It's like five something, which is kind of crazy. Uh, it has a decent turret, uh, but it does have some very bad weaknesses. For instance, if you just shoot it right in the gun, you'll pin right through. That's something they need to fix on the armor model, or I mean, if that's the if, if that's its weakness, you know. So uh, if you guys don't know this uh, by now, wargaming, you know, by me using silver you know, to fire this, or even using gold, which is what people do. Um, by me doing that and by other people, they create tanks that you have to do it or you can't pin them. Now, I had a guy comment on my last video, and he basically said this to me. <clears throat> he said that uh, it needs to go back to when people were using gold, and I'm going to say that there are people out there that can afford to fire gold. <coughs> and I'm not kidding you on that. I know people that have no no problem firing gold, and so it wouldn't really change things. It'd actually make the game very unfair, and it would make it so people that have money could spam spam it, and people that don't, like me, wouldn't be able to have any chance. I probably wouldn't play the game if it was like that, but uh, it's very good for helping you you know get W and A. For instance, I'd say that I probably would have six pins compared to twelve, because a lot of those would have just bounced. Seriously, so this is the game I got my mark of excellence on and it was one of the higher damage ones But it wasn't my best game by far But it did show a little bit of everything now if you get into a good side scraping position And there's enough tanks there and they don't YOLO you I want you guys to look at this next next game. It's just a clip. I made um, It's not really a clip. It's just the end screen But you guys will see that I blocked 10,000 damage now. I had to basically cover Excuse me, I had to cover my lower plate. Um, I didn't look directly at the guys, so they couldn't pin that. And I also have my hatch on the left side of my vehicle. And they could only shoot the right side, so my hatch was completely hidden. So here you can see, here's my other 5,000 game. But look at how much I blocked in that, just crazy. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Uh, let me know what you guys think of it. And of course, please thumbs up the video if you'd like to see more content like it. And of course, uh, have a good one. Later.